grilled chicken parmesan sandwiches has become one of our favorites here at the Wall Twins. If you want to see our take on this amazing Italian sub, then stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's one of them. That's the other one. I'm the other one. Hey, welcome back. I'm Adam. I'm Brett. And we are the Wall Twins. If this is your first time here with us, welcome. welcome. Consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that we do together. Man, we love cooking and we love you guys being along for the ride, for the journey with us. Yes. And it's something that we have obviously come to love and we share with you week in and week out and this has been an incredible year. Yes. We're winding up, up on the end of the year. year. And yes. As far as our channel growth and as far as the support and love and these cooks, we're so grateful for all of this. So thank you for being along with us on this journey. And if you are new here again, welcome. And we hope you find what you're looking for. We've got plenty of cooks, bunch, <laughs> and a lot of shenanigans to be had on the Wall Twins. But anyways, today we've got another, what I would consider a banger and something Brett tried a week or so ago in our live. And well, according to the people, they thought this would be a great one to go ahead and throw into a tutorial type situation. How do we make this? Take it away, Brad. Yeah, exactly. And, and the reason why we want to do this is because during the live, it's where we interact with you. And so um, I didn't really do much of the ex explanation of the cook. It was more of just the fact that it was on the Blackstone while we were live. So now we're going to show you our step-by-step -step of how that uh, this amazing sandwich came right. to be. And this comes about, you know, we do a lot of interacting with our viewers on those lives. We love to have you there every Wednesday for now. Uh, Wednesday, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, like Brett said. And we love the support. And speaking of support, another way that you can support us is through our Patreon page. We We've been Patreons now for a couple of months and we have loved the support and reach out that we've gotten so far. If you have any questions about that or want to check out more about ways in which you can support us, check the link below in the description. Yes, it is a multi-tiered system in which you kind of have more access to us behind the scenes footage. We've got recipes, merchandise, discount on merchandise, and there's a level where you actually get a free apron. We love our Patreons and the love and support that they give us so far. But Brett, let's go ahead and let's get into this one. What groceries are we throwing on the, the griddle today? All right, well, we have taken a chicken breast and we cut the butterfly right in half. And uh, we cut it butterfly style and right in half. Cut the butterfly right in half. And wow, then we got violent here. Then we use the meat hammer to uh, flatten them out very thin. And then we are going to be using my favorite is this classico Cabernet marinara. We're going to top them also with mozzarella. We're going to put them on, putting them on these amazing public rolls and not pictured is this butter. And the seasoned salt, I will talk about it during the cook. Right, and we love this Classico. We had some people in the live, Steve Belcher was saying that he loves the Classico. He loves the tomato and basil, which is another one we've used here. Yep, for our spaghetti. Love it, this Classico brand is great. We want to do our own marinara, but in the meantime, you know what, use what works for you and keep it simple as a pimple. So we're using what's already there. So Brett's got the sauce going. Now we've got it on the far right side and that is cooking on high because we're just bringing that up to temp, getting that nice and warm, then we're pulling, pulling it off and it doesn't take long at all to warm that up. So we'll get that going. In the meantime, we're also going to get these chicken breasts cooking. Now we're gonna use olive oil for this one. Yes, we are. So that is gonna be good. We've got our olive oil. We'll place that down, get this cooking and the, these chicken breasts take no time at all. Once they're done, we'll pull them off. We'll toast our buns a little bit and then we'll, we'll be good to go. We'll start our build. Oh, cause we're gonna build it and we're gonna melt, melt the cheese on top of yes. it. Yes, right? and which we need the dough. So we're gonna be cooking our chicken breast on the left hand side. We've got these at medium low, but really at the top side of low. My griddle cooks hot. In fact, to temp right now, this has been on for several minutes. We're cooking at, uh, we're looking at a high spot just under 400 degrees. So we're gonna be between 370, 400 at this, and it will come up and be just over 400 degrees. So that's where we're cooking. All right, let's go ahead and lay a little bit of oil. Brett will be running most of this cook. I'm just here to lay down the oil and set the griddle and all that good stuff. And look pretty. Go ahead and spread this around. Okay. So Brett, right here is where we're laying it down on the number one and number two burner right you here. Betcha. I'm gonna lay these down, the crowd starts to go wild, and now I'm getting my seasoning. So, what I'm gonna do, oh, just get no. it on right there. And the really cool thing that, with this season I came up with, is the garlic powder in there, when with the uh, butter on the bread, it actually tastes like we're eating it on garlic bread. So it's really good. And I'd use basically just salt, pepper, garlic powder, Italian seasoning, and accent. Adam will have the measurement that I used for this mix right here, but as you can see, I just put a, a sprinkle of pinches it. Yeah, yep. exactly. So All right, let those go. And those don't cook for very long no, because they're, they're so super thin. thin. We've got a butterfly cut, and also on top of that, we meat hammered them 
Wade. There you go. And then you're going to season that side as well, bro? Correct. All right. So basically what I'm going to do now, I'm going to put a strip just a little bit there. Wanted to get in close on that so you can and see what's going on. I'm going to bring on the mozz. Ooh, yeah. The mozzel. That is fantastic. And then you put a little sauce now or after? Correct. <laughs> so now apparently you're yeah. not waiting for that cheese to melt. This this is gonna help melt the cheese. Gotcha. Okay, so we dome that up. And we're gonna Oh man. Is it melted? Bro, that cheese is melted. That's the best part about that's the best thing about mozzarella is how quickly it melts. So here's the deal. This is still on. I'm gonna crank the heat all the way down, Brett, to the left, to the right. <laughs> I thought it was gonna stay open and it didn't. Alright, I think we're just about ready to build. Let's get it on. Well, what do you know? Yeah. There it is once again. I love these quick and easy cooks that actually have what I would consider a very high success rate. Yes. There are a lot of people that ask us all the times, what are your go-to cooks? What does the family really like? I would put this near the top of the list because of how simple it is. And they look fantastic. This smells unbelievable. My mouth is watering like Yes, crazy. I cannot wait for Adam to taste it. Now, he did get a taste when we were live last week, but the slice that I gave him only had one piece of chicken on it. I had no idea when the, by the time I put it in. So I'm excited for him to have, that he gets Actually his own get sandwich. One. But I am really excited about this. We could talk about this all day long, but let's go ahead and let's just taste this. Now, typically when we cook chicken, safety is key. We wanna make sure we cook it all the way through. That's actually why I like butterfly the cuts, yeah. cause it thins it out and it cooks really quick and don't have to worry about a guessing game. Is it cooking? Don't have to stick a thermometer in there to relieve some of the juices. It cooks right through the bread. Yep. Like we say, it can look amazing. Oh, I'm oh, really oh, excited oh, about this one. Messy yeah. and amazing is all it is. It can smell amazing. We're in Italy. We're in Italy. I'm just saying. Or an Italian restaurant. Right. <laughs> but if this doesn't taste amazing, this was all for naught. Hold on. Dude, that thing is messy and that's gonna be okay with me. <laughs> Cheers, I'll eat to that. My, My brother. brother. Mm. 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 Okay. Mm. Boom. Got Italian seasoning. It tastes like the bread is garlic butter. I was or just gonna bread. say, in fact, talk to Brett about buttering and putting garlic on the bread. Now, I would say maybe that would kick it up just a little bit. It doesn't need it, but that's exactly what this tastes. It's got that feeling that we're actually eating through garlic bread. Because of the garlic powder. The, the, yes. look, at, look at all this cheese I just know, coming just out. Come Hold on, on, I gotta get that back on this sandwich. Mm, okay. I gotta start this now. Okay, I'm gonna have one more bite. All right, brother, another banger, and I'm so glad you showed this one. We practiced with with this live in Brett's test kitchen, which I love. That I we love got that for these <laughs> guys. Too, me too. Because we bring them here, we knock them out, and this was great. Hopefully, this helped you again. This is one we strongly recommend. You gotta try this, do this. If you have your own Italian seasonings, great. If not, check in the description below. I'll go ahead and have our recipe. It's just this little mix, maybe two, one to two ounces here. Yep. But it's enough just to sprinkle some good seasonings on, some good Italian seasonings that is spectacular. Bro, I don't know what I'd add. Like right now, my mouth just wants more. I know. That is so That's, You know what this tastes good. like? What's more. That? More. This one just tastes <laughs> like more for sure, bro. I like that one. All right, but Brett, aside from coming to knock out this banger, this grilled chicken parm sub, what else are we coming out here to do this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And grid along.